Hey guys, my name is Emily Brown and I will be teaching a lesson on phonemic awareness for first graders. Um, the lesson should be 15 minutes long. And my teacher objective is that the teacher will isolate pronounced final sounds in spoken single syllable words. Um, I believe that's the Common Core Standard RF12C, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, so just to give you guys a rundown, we would have went over initial target sounds last week. So my review is the teacher will review initial word sounds by using picture cards to orally interact with the students. So um, I would be using these picture cards and I would say, now class, which picture do you think starts with the letter B? Hopefully out of all these pictures, they will say bear because it has a B sound. And then um, I'll say, I'll ask, who can tell me the letter that pig begins with or the sound? And hopefully they'll say P, P, pig. And then I'll ask, or I'll say, I have two pet dogs. Let's all say the word dog, and hopefully they'll respond with the word dog. And I'll say, now who can tell me the initial sound in the word dog? And hopefully they'll say, duh, duh, dog. Now for today's lesson, we will be going over final target sounds. So the purpose and importance of that, I would tell my students, is to help students become aware of um, phonics in hopes of establishing appropriate reading and writing skills. Now, as I said um, earlier, we would have went over in the past um, initial sounds, initial target sounds, and then today we'll be going over final target sounds, and then tomorrow we'll learn about medial vowel sounds. So, my objective is the learner will be able to isolate final sounds in spoken single syllable words. So, the behavioral objective is for is that the the learners will orally match final target sounds and words with 90% accuracy, which is the understanding level. And um, the first activity I'll be doing with the students is called the last sound is, which I found on the Florida website that was provided to us, and it's on isolating final sounds and words. Teachers will place the final sound objects on a flat surface providing easy access to students. So what we would need would be just the final sound objects for this activity. And I would assess the students through observation. So then I would model how to do this activity. So the goal for it is for the students to silently, one of the, you would pair the students up with partners and the goal would be have to one, for one student to silently pick one of the final sound objects and only tell the student, for instance, if they pick fork, to say k out loud, and the other student will need to guess which one of these objects the student is talking about. Hopefully they'll say fork, and then they'll say the final sound again, which is k. And they'll do that until all of the final sound objects have been completed. So as a teacher, I would go through this demonstration and I only have these final target sounds because it was what was given with the, on the Florida website. And so um, I would go over several examples of this. For instance, I would say, um, I would say, okay, I'm going to pick one of these and I'm going to tell you the final sound. You tell me which one I'm talking about. So I would say, lol. So hopefully they'll say turtle, and then they'll say ol as a final sound. And so I would do this several times to give the students an example of how to complete the activity. And um, I would partner the students up so that they could complete this activity, and um, I would assess them through observation, as I said earlier. And then I would move on to the next activity that I have for the students that I also got off of the Florida website. And it is called Sound Pie. So the materials I would need would be the final sound picture cards, a paper plate, print resources like a newspaper or a magazine, um, scissors and glue for the students. 
So the goal is to, um, well, the students will be given all of these materials, and the goal of this would be to give them the spinal sound chart and have them pick one. So, for instance, if they picked dog, um, they would glue this on their paper plate, and then they would use their print source to find other examples in there that have the same final sound. So, since dog is g, they would try to find pictures of things that end in the sound g. And so, it gave us an example, and it has, if you can tell on here, it has a picture of a frog and a mug. And so, the students would do this until they had five, at least five examples, like pictures from print sources on here. And um, they would do this, you know, until the, I just said that, until they had six of them on there. And I would provide the example that was given here. And I may even make my own with the pictures, with six different pictures. And so I would assess them also through observation of this cell. And then for the closure... I would use picture cards as a review for the final target sounds. So the first question I have here is about hands, and I had a picture for that, and I seem to have misplaced it. But I would hold up, nonetheless, I would hold up a picture of a hand, and I would ask, we have, we each have two hands. Can everyone say the word hand? Hopefully everybody would respond with the word hand. And then, um... I would say, let's all say the final sound in the word hand, and hopefully they'll say duh, duh, hand. And then I would say, and then I would um, find another picture card, for example, the hat, and I would ask who can tell me the final sound to the object in the picture. Hopefully they'll raise their hands. And um, the students, whoever I pick, will respond T for hat T. And then I'll ask the students, who can tell me an object that ends with the sound K? Now, they had practice earlier in the last sound activity with fork. So hopefully they would give me an example such as fork for that. And then for homework, I made up a little activity sheet, nothing much to it, and um, it, I would ask the students to draw a picture um, of items that have the in sound, whichever one would be given, so this one is duh, or buh, or puh, so hopefully they would draw a picture of something with the same final sound, just they can even take um, pictures from a print source or the internet or just anything. and um, But they can't be items that we use in our picture card. So it, it needs to be something that they either find on the internet or a newspaper or something around the house or anything like that. And I would explain that to the students as well. And then for early finishers, I found this cool little activity sheet for ending sounds. And it says to circle the ending sound that matches the picture. So, for example, this is the flag, and hopefully they would circle G for flag, or crab, so hopefully they would circle B. And then when they finish this, because this is fairly short, um, I would let them color the pictures. And so, then for special needs students, I would provide, um, teacher tutoring or para or and or paraprofessional assistance during class time or I would give to teacher tutoring like one on one time with students who needed further assistance or for things such as remediation we would do um, it says students will work with final sound picture cards and get further practice so um, we would just use these picture cards that I had earlier and we would continue to go over until the students seem to gather understanding of what we're trying to accomplish here. And we would just practice things like, what is, what is this picture of? And they would say cat. And I would say, now tell me,
the final sound in the word cat. And hopefully they'll say tough. And we'll just keep practicing that until um, they seem to get the hang of it. And it will either be with me or a paraprofessional. And then for um, the enrich enrichment activity, I will have students pair up for a pocket chart center. And students will make picture card, will match the picture card to the corresponding final sound letter. So I'll have these in um, the pocket chart, which is, it'll just be something hanging on the wall with the um, clear see through things. And they'll have these, and they'll use these picture cards to match the picture card to its final letter sound or final sound letter and that'll be the activity that they do for enrichment and that will be my lesson for phonemic awareness and um, the final target sounds